Yeah. What up, buddies? And obvious today, it's Spider Man time. Or, as we we'll are call it, Spider Verse. Yes, sir, buddies. And what were we reacting to? Madam Web. Fuck yeah. So, so uh, Nuno, give us a history lesson. Who the fuck is Madam Web? Madam Web is the, is the uh, not only beautiful, but. Uh... Okay, fuck it. She's not beautiful, okay? She's a very wise old lady. And uh, not that old, not that uh, older women can't be beautiful. Get me out of that. All right, don't judge me. <laughs> All right, but uh, yeah, Madam Web is a person who is also one of the biggest contributors of, of the Spider Verse. I was gonna say multiverse, but we're gonna say Spider Verse in this case because it is in the interjection of the web, the spider universe web. Web of life. And we saw it. We saw it in uh, Spider Verse. There we go. But like, we already have two Spider Verse movies. Why the hell we haven't heard nothing from Madam Web until now? Hmm, that is a very good question, Sony. What has been going on? But uh, that doesn't matter because we got three hotties in this movie. A list hotties, actually. Sydney Sweeney and uh, what's the other one's name? Isabella Merced. Yes! Isabella Marcel, all right, and, and Dakota and Johnson. Johnson. She was in something that I did not watch, but uh, I don't know who else watched it. You're all a bunch, you're all a bunch of weirdos, all right. That was a weird time when we were working in the movies. Like Twilight fandom was at its peak. Was that was peak. yeah. What Dakota Johnson was in, that was Twilight fan fiction. Okay, Basically. don't okay, don't tell us because uh, I don't want to know. So I'm glad I didn't get into those movies. But uh, Dakota Johnson, as we know, was is a good actress in other things. Yes. Also, apparently, when she's in it, she was in interviews. I apparently, know she can make when you anything see sound Webb, sexy. You're gonna love it. Hmm. Hey, Scarlett Johansson, can you do that? Can you make anything? She's the new Scarlett Johansson. <laughs> yeah, except yeah, except about the ass. Does she have ass? Let's find out. Are you guys ready? Yes, sir. All right, Madam Web. In three, two, one. Hello. Wait, who was that, Miles? Who the hell is that? Damn, Dakota. Come on, get your stuff. Spider-Man? Miles, is that you? Oh no, he's evil. Miles wouldn't do that. Oh, fuck. Oh! Damn! Let's try that again. Oh? A diner? This feels like a... A week ago, I spent my life racing against time. I'm gonna help you out today, okay? I'm trying to save people who are running out of it. Wait, why'd he do that? He just left her in there. Changed everything. Come on! Welcome back to Bullhead Living. Hello? I don't understand what's happening. I've been who having a vision. I knew he was gonna die. I think I'm seeing the future. Your team is a whole new level of crazy these days. Ain't that the truth? Who is he? Who the hell is that? Your team is a whole new level of crazy these days. She's like reliving all of this. What? It was like Final Destination. I can see the future. What the hell? Did you see that coming? That's not how it works. That is true. <laughs> I've seen that man before. So who is he? Ezekiel Sims. Sims? He was in the Amazon with my mom. Were you using she was researching spiders right before she died. Wait, I recognize you. You live in my building. He killed her. You're the paramedic. Yeah, you almost ran me over. <laughs> you don't think this is weird? How we're all connected? Extremely. Honestly, like the least weird thing that's happened all day. I have no idea what those girls are called. Oh! I think he can see into the future. He's trying to change what happens. That's not Jessica, though. Your future was almost so different. Okay, you want to Oh, okay. You have to trust me. Get ready. 
Oh, it's her connection to the spider web. The, the, the web first. Shine off. Maybe a little. Oh shit. Okay, that was better than I expected. I'll give it a clap for that. A slow that clap. Good. A slow clap, okay? You intrigued me, okay? Because mostly because of my comic book knowledge is right here. Alright, so, so So who are those spider fatties? Okay, so the so the first one you saw is Spider Woman, but it wasn't Jessica Drew. It was Julia Carpenter. Yes, I knew about her. So Julia Carpenter is like I think she's like one. Of, she was like one of the first ones who encountered Miles. Yeah. Like after or uh, I can't remember. Was that during the Ultimate comics or? Yes. Yes. But okay. uh, don't, Jessica Drew is definitely still in the is still in the comic. Mm -hmm. But uh, in this in this case, like they're bringing her origin to this version. And it looks like this version of Madam Web is going to be giving them all that power. So this is basically Madam Web's origin. Nice. Uh, not only that, we got Julia Carpenter. But uh, give me one second. So does this mean so we're I not going to get the older version? That the older version of Madam Web don't exist? We are, actually. This is before she had her legs. Or her, she lost her legs and then become the, and then she becomes the, uh, oh. the Madam Web. So this is basically her own origin. Uh, I can't lie, a lot of these sets, actually it gives me cheap, like, yeah, kind of looks, like a, looks like something out of a also the, di also the diner looks like something out of a, say it now please. Say, say it. CW? CW. Okay, look. <coughs> I do not want to shit on Madam Web. I love Sydney Sweeney. I love all these actresses. But, um, could we have given this a little bit of a bigger budget? Because... We just watched this this trailer. And I'm already forgetting everything. See that? If we're gonna make this a really good a Spider Verse movie, let's call it a Spider Verse movie. We gotta pick up the pace here, man. We gotta do better. I will not bash the actors. They look great, and the suits look phenomenal. Oh, yeah. Ex except for Zeke's. Zeke's looks way too close to Miles' suit. It looks like something Miles would be wearing. If without the goggles, because Miles would not be wearing those goggles. It actually looks like the if Sam Raimi had Miles Morales introduced in the in the trilogy and turned him evil, right? Yeah. Yeah. See, if uh, they had said that this is an evil version of Miles, imagine like how much more praise we'd be, we'd be given this, because we've never seen that before. We haven't seen Miles evil yet. Or in white action. Yeah. We've seen evil Peter, haven't we? Yeah, yes. we've seen evil right. Peter before. We've seen so many evil versions of these characters, except for Miles. Like, it would have been, it would have been friggin' interesting to see that. Yeah, and we don't, we're not counting that yeah. whole clone saga thing that Marvel decided to do with Miles a while back. Coulda, coulda did that so much better. Come on, guys. If we can't make these characters and make them evil and treat them with respect, Maybe we shouldn't be doing this, but mm -hmm. so far, you know, Matty Franklin, you know, that's the one we saw with the, with the arms, mm -hmm. the mechanical arms. That's that was the one with the blue suit, right? Yes. That was cool. Well, not the blue suit, but yeah, the blue yeah. and uh, with, uh, with the mechanical arm. Those are pretty good. And what about Isabella Merced? Her name is Anya Corazon. Mm. Anya is kind of a weird one. Oh, that's her. Yeah, yeah. What? Something happened with she, her she backstory? Started, uh, no, the character's fine. You just don't look, like her look? Look, look at the tip. No, I hate that look. I think, Come on. I think it looks all right. And what do you think? Expo exposed hair and face, terrible gargoyle. But I don't think we saw that in the trailer, though. No, we haven't. But uh, that's because they're hiding her. Also, they're hiding Mae Parker. Like, and they got a good actress to play. Yeah, a Emma Roberts. What do you have to say about the, the rumors that they, this was gonna be a whole time trial movie where they gotta save the Parkers uh, and that from, evil, from evil death, variant from their death? Yeah, before Peter Parker was born. I think it's like okay, a whole listen, Terminator type okay, shit. In this case, it's Final Destination because or, you know, seeing like, seeing it forward into the future before a disaster happens. That's Final Destination. Final Destination, but for kids. No, or for superheroes, actually. I think they should push it for farther. Like, I think Matter Web Story should be rated R, 
you know, I think I think we they should get like an R-rated treatment. Are you sure you're not just saying that because you don't want to see Dakota Johnson naked? Zip it! Okay, <laughs> it has nothing to do with Dakota Johnson being sexy and hot. Or Sydney Sweeney being very sexy and hot as well. Shut up! I said zip it, okay? It has nothing to do with any of that. Stop the cab. I will stab you. <laughs> and what's I supposed to say? Stab. Stop the cab. In this case, um, there's no cab. Okay. Yeah, if you've read any of Madame Webb's comics, you would understand that, yeah, her story deserves deserve to be pushed like harder than this. But what we're seeing here. Mm. If they're gonna use Ezekiel, then we have to see the spider total that creates uh, evil spiders or evil spider people. Uh, I guess Ezekiel would be the, a good villain. Who knows? Maybe if, if this movie goes on well and everyone rewrites the whole evil Spider-Man variant here, maybe one day we'll get a superior Spider-Man movie. Imagine oh, that, bro. Yeah, that I would, yeah, that I would like to see. Doc, Passion on the yeah, villains, bro. Yeah, yeah, Doc Ock possessing Spider-Man fun. And that one infamous part in the comics when superior Spider-Man literally tore Scorpion's jaw off. Deck the shit out of him. Oh, you guys want to know something? That I just remembered because I, uh, and I, while you guys were talking, I looked it up. Mm -hmm. You guys want to know who uh, Maddie Franklin is? Who? She's actually the niece of J. John Jameson. What? The costume's actually pretty spot on too. Uh, you know, with the arm, with the arms and the bluish, blackish suit. What are the chances you think we'll get a J.K. Simmons cameo? I hope very high. That's the that's the way that they can save this movie from all the hatred it's getting at the moment. I did see the hatred, but and uh, I understand where some people are coming from. Some of these are completely unwarranted, but for the most part, I get it. It looks. Cheap and the uh, storyline seems like it, they feel like they can do better. But uh, as 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 far as the look of the characters looks solid. You know everyone who is not really know not anything about Madam One is gonna watch this just because uh, Sydney Sweeney in here. Yeah, for She's the most really... part, for the most part, a lot of people yes, <laughs> not including myself. Bro, Alicia but... is interested in seeing movie just for her. I'm like, bruh. Okay. Just, just for Sydney. Yeah, I get it. Like, so how do you think about her being as the iconic Julia Carpenter? Mm -hmm. You gonna give it to see the acting first? I gotta see it first. Cause yeah. how how Sydney is she Sweet. as a character? Sydney. Is she like badass or that or? Oh, she's an amazing. Except uh, she has bio powers. Like her power is she can like shoot things out of her hands, which we did see in the trailer. Yeah. So as for the characters. But with the powers, the suits, spot on. Just come on, guys. A lot of this is looks and the set, the sets, the choreography. Come on, it like so anybody. Cheap. I mean, come on, Madam Web, like just getting, just getting like easily stabbed. Come on, put on a bigger fight, Madam Web. Like just like a simple grab and, and stab. But now that we can see it's like, you know, looking into the future, we can forget about that now. Yeah, it, it gives, it, it feels to anyone who's, who loves the Final Destination movies. Actually, yeah. Uh, I'm never gonna watch them, but Spider -Man, Spider -Man, Final Destination mixed with uh, Spider-Verse. That actually could be an interesting concept. Yeah. You know. I was thinking of Edge of Tomorrow. Ah, that's a good one. That's a good one. That is a good one. But... Out of all the people, she is the most connected to the Spider-Verse. She's the most connect connected to the web. She's the one, like, protecting the web. Like, well, let's hope she whoops Miguel's ass in the dirt. Unlikely. <laughs> uh, for the most part, she's probably one of the same one. Madam Web, yes, she does. Even in the comics, she does very questionable things. For the most part, we understand why she does what she does, but uh, a lot of things she does is extremely questionable. We can't hate her for everything. There's also another possibility, the spider vampires, which uh, also connects to the spider totem. Isn't it really crazy totem. how we, all, we almost have a trilogy and not once do we even get a mention of them? That's crazy. I guess they're like, nah, fuck we y'all, we're making this shit all about monks. Which is a good move. But, uh, it is a great move. But uh, we can't address 
everything. Yeah. You know, Sony, they got their own thing going on. You know, they're trying to throw out their own Spider Universe. Interconnected, not interconnected. You know, just letting directors do, try to do their own thing. Oh, know. that ties in with Secret like, Wars beyond me. For some reason, this feels like there's tons of studio interference. It's probably not Feige, it's probably somebody else that we dare to mention who's always pushing you down. Oh, yeah. 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 That was the studio in the fields. Alright, but uh, at the end of the day, I'll give this two and a half stars. I give it three for the for the way the characters look, minus Ezekiel. I don't know. We'll give this a one more watch, but uh, not on the video. I'll give it three out of five as well. Um, I'm pretty interested to see this sort of movie, despite this how how lane most of the sets are it does give me an early 2005 so let's hope this movie does success yes. and we'll be able to get spin-offs with these uh, other characters being introduced Look, as popular as the early 2000s were as much as we all grew up and loved them as kids you gotta grow up with us we're not all kids anymore all right and what give your rating i give this trailer three out of five yeah, the sets do look cheap and Zeke's costume looks too similar to mine. Also, so I don't like to bash the actors, but some of the acting is pretty weak. But uh, we can fix this. We still got a little time, you know, a little bit, a little bit of uh, fixing to do, so a bit of rewrites. Not too much. Too much studio interference is bad. All right, facts. And we just we just ended the strike. So uh, let's not reverse. Let's not reverse back, okay? All right, guys. Those are our thoughts. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, click the bell to get notified for next video. Share this video with anyone know the fucks with every single spider character in the Spider Verse, and let us know if you're excited to see Madam Web. And remember, enough with the studio interference, please. Yeah.